Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let me stop moving because my chair is really squeaky. <laughs> I can't make this intro because Justin keeps texting me. So, um, I was so inspired by the new Huda palette that's coming up, which by the way, I will be doing a review for you guys. Don't freak. I was so inspired by that palette that I wanted to try to recreate one of the shadows in the palette. And I think I kind of nailed it. The palette looks bomb. I was already excited about the regular Huda palette. So the second one that's coming out, I am so anticipating it. So I wanted to do a look to kind of incorporate one of the colors in the palette that I am head over heels for. It's beautiful. I don't know the name of it. If you want to see how I created this cool iridescent dark look, stay tuned. So first we're starting off with the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm using the shade 360 and this is the matte poreless. And I finished with my black opal finishing powder. Now I'm going in with the Subcultra palette, my favorite. And we're gonna start off with the shade Rowdy. Again, these shades are extremely pigmented, so all you need is a little bit. Um, just using like this color by itself for a smoky eye would also be really, really bomb. Here I'm just taking a clean brush and I'm just going to diffuse my crease area because I'm going to pop a crease color there. Next is the ColourPop Shadow in Envy. This is gorgeous you guys. Great for a smoky look. Um, and again with the ColourPop Shadows you have to apply these with your finger. Okay, next we're going in with the old Huda palette and we're just going to blend that color henna into the crease. Back to subculture, I'm now going in with All Star right over henna to deepen the crease a little bit. So if you ever see me using an eyeliner nine times out of 10, it's either of the jumbo liners from Sephora collection because I love those. Now we're just gonna smoke out the bottom with Rowdy with a smudging brush. And now back with Henna, just right over that again. So these are the Stila Magnificent Metals. Um, I got this one in Sunset Cove because it mimics the color Twilight in the Huda palette. And we're just topping that right over the lid. This has been my go-to concealer. It's from Wet n Wild. This is one of the darkest shades. I love this concealer. It reminds me of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Next, we have another go-to product, the Fashion Fair Press Powder in Sable, and we're just using that for your contour.
Now to finish off my brows, I like to go in with a little bit of Benefit Gimme Brow just to lay my brows down and so they look tamed. Y'all, I'm so sorry for these weird faces. Now I'm going in with the Juvia Masquerade Palette in Abdu, I think it is, um, just for blush. Now we're finishing up with some Allure Definition Lashes. These are my favorites. Oh, I'm feeling myself. And the lips are Evil Twin from Too Faced, the Melted um, Liquid Lipsticks. Again, another one of my favorites. Next is the Superb Highlighter from MAC, just to add a little glow. And I'm also going to go back under my brows with the LA Pro Concealer in Toffee to give them just a little bit more highlight. Okay, I said we were gonna pop these lashes on like a whole minute ago, but they finally on my face, girl. So last we're going in with the Smashbox Priming Water. I just like to refresh my face and we are all done with this look. So thank you guys for tuning in to this look. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment box below. See you in my next video. Bye.